this is Liz Wright from Liz at Home in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I'm going to do a haul share. This is my various products that I've received over the last two months and I thought I'd share them with you. I don't think there's anything in the haul that you will not have seen on other channels before, but I'm delighted with my new things that I have. So to start with are the books and I bought this Tales from the Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson. I got it from Take A Lot which is a South African um, online store sort of along the lines of Amazon and it's come, I don't think it shows up unfortunately on camera. I'm going to just see if you can see it is so scuffed everything it looks like it's been lying on a floor and people have literally walked over it or something the back is all scuffed and dirty and it's in quite a mess on the cover and i considered possibly turning it returning it but i want the book and the actual coloring pages are perfect there's nothing wrong with them at all so I've decided I'm not returning it. I will hang on to it um, and I will put, I will do a review and just mention the state it arrived in, in the review. Um, so that's book number one. Book number two is this beautiful Circle of Life by Mel Pameni Chatsi Panagiot. I don't know how to pronounce that name and I apologize for mangling the name up but this is such a beautiful book and there have been many page throughs of it and the first picture I want to do that I've already agreed to color in as a color along with somebody is it's one of the early pictures in the book let me find it I was sort of a little surprised when the book arrived at how big it is. I thought it was smaller from the pictures I've seen, um, but I'm delighted to have it. Now I can't find it. It's a picture of a sort of Dutch windmill. Let me try and find the image. I've just seen the most beautiful completed. This is also one I really want to do. This is so South African, honestly and truly. It's like being in the Serengeti. Well, that's not South African, that's African. But yeah, there's, there are many pictures. There's the image that I want to do. So this will be my first image that I'll be doing in this book. Now, there's a choice between this and an image in another book, both of which I've promised to do as colour alongs. I belong to this group called Colouring Book Colour Along on Facebook and I've agreed to both of these colour alongs. So let me know which of them you'd like me to do online. I'll put a little um, poll on the community tab. So that's the first image I'm going to do. And then the next book I received is this beautiful Country Kitchen Charm by Creative Haven by Teresa Goodridge is the artist and the image that I've agreed to colour is I'm really struggling to find things this lovely image of the cat on the kitchen counter so this I'm also definitely doing this month and I'll put a poll whether you'd like me to do this from Creative Haven or the other one well this from Country kitchen charm or the other one from circle of life let me know which you'd like me to do a color along on the channel of then the third book i received is the menagerie this was a gift to me by my family that came from germany it's a big book um, i'm going to hold the creative haven book up next to it so just want to check we're in screen on screen you can see it's very wide and it's longer 
and it's an interesting book with many different animals and a lot of um, doodle kind of patterns in them and I will do one or two of these images and I think what I will do is um, use water-based media. I might do something like put a, a gesso down or something to protect the paper and then try and do a full watercolour of it because images of this size I sometimes find a bit daunting. Um, but I will definitely do a couple of them. Giraffes are just standing out at me today. And then the third paper product is I bought this mixed media Fabriano paper. It's 250 GSM, so it's quite thick. And the reason I bought it is to print some coloring pages on and give myself an opportunity to use various media on the coloring pages. So I don't know if any of you have used this paper before, but I'm very interested to try it. So next I bought on a sale from Take A Lot. So I bought on the sale these Sharpie pens and I'll swatch them for you there. There was a name um, to the set and I can't remember what it was called and it's not on the box. I've opened the box um, and they're colours that I don't think I have in Sharpie. The problem with Sharpies, of course, is that they never name or number their pens. So they're nice bright ones. I must maybe make a plan and number some of mine so I can see what I'm doing. I've just been doing a colour by number book, a image in one of them, a colour questopia colour by number. And I often need different oranges. And I want to see if the other Sharpie orange is different to that. So these are pretty, pretty colours, bright. It's kind of quite a hot pink. So I bought that and then I also bought on sale then on Take A Lot these two Schneider paint markers. Um, this is just a white. I always like to try whites. They're sort of along the line of Posca pens that you need to shake and then to activate and I've already activated this so it's quite a nice bright white and then this pink which I have not yet activated so let me shake it a little bit more and then you activate it the same as a Posca by going up and down on the nib Along. Hurry up! <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty pink. So that's nice. It's a kind of a pastel pink compared to that bright one. It's interesting because it does look like the lid, but it's more pastel than that. Then also from Art Savings Club. I got just loose some replacement pencils. I got a kelp green Prismacolor. And if you're a South African and didn't realize you can get Prismacolor open stock in South Africa, you can from Art Savings Club. And Take A Lot sells some sets now as well. And this one is Ginger Root. And then I got a Colorless Blender and a polychromos permanent carmine 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 and a prismacolor white that is my favorite thing for blending down colors <laughs> so i always go through these white pencils at such a rate all right so now i'm next i'm going to show the next lot of markers i got these were on sale on take a lot as well these are pint or pastel markers and they're sort of pearlescent they're not markers in the sense of an alcohol marker they're water-based and more like a paint marker so 
this one I haven't as yet. I'm not going to do it now. Activated it yet. There's a white here. I'll show you. Quite a nice fine point. Quite. The pink I have activated. I've used it actually. It's nice. This is a mixed media paper. And it's lovely because then the paper doesn't pill. I was using this in an Amazon print coloring book and the paper pills with it a little bit. And this purple. My kind of colors. So you can mix them and a pretty sort of pastel lemon. Well, it looks pastel, but in a way it's quite bright once you once you use it. And I've not activated the blue yet. So I'm quite thrilled to have those. They might be nice for backgrounds. And also when I print a colouring page on the mixed media paper. Next, I'm going to show you. So this was actually a gift to me also by my family from Germany. And it's big intensity and they are fine point pens. They, they're two, they're the same colors <laughs> in the set. The one is a felt tip kind of fine point. I'll show you, let me write Liz at home. And the other is a very fine point. And so they're very useful for little places that one might need. They're water-based filter pens. They're not alcohol. This is a very fine. And I can imagine, I don't have any of the Belva, Belva family books as yet. I've just ordered a stone mosaic book, but I can imagine if you wanted to do the cross stitch method at all that that would be a nice thin size to use then i bought these derwent pastel shades paint pan set in jamie's coloring love she does breakdown prompts of each month and for april one of the things that came up was pastel and I thought I would try using these seeing as that they're pastel shades in one of my coloring pages. It comes with all of them and then a coloring a water brush. Um, so I'll just do a bit of a swatch of them. Going to I've got this here clean it off. That is lemon, peach. They're really pretty colours. Coral pink. I love watercolours. I get so excited with watercolours. Pink flamingo. They're not the normal half pans. They they are that size, but they, they were open when I received them. They weren't like closed like little chocolates. Lavender, then cornflower blue. We used to actually grow cornflowers at one stage. Turquoise, mint, one of my favorite colors. I also love eating mints. I think this is such a lovely color, artichoke, sort of a gray green. Storm Grey, another gorgeous colour. I love these colours. I think they're fantastic. And Silver Blue. So I have another set of pastel paints as well that are not by Derwent. Derwent. And it might be interesting to compare the two. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. Um, so you can take this art it comes in a set of six and it looks like i'm scared i'll break them looks like you can take the pans out as well but the 
I don't want to do that now in case it goes flying all over the room. So I suppose one could replace it if it ran out or something. I'm not sure. And then my final indulgence has been, I showed you the other day, um, the CQ 11020 something or other, I can't remember. Oh wait, there's another watercolor. I bought a Daniel Smith. Um, this is neutral tint. Um, let me put that down there. I don't want to waste a drop of my precious Daniel Smith paints and see if I can activate it with this. Yes, I can. I mean, these Daniel Smith paints are just amazing. So it's a lovely gray color, this neutral tint, and I've been wanting it for a while, and it is granulating. Even on this mixed media paper, you can see the granulation. Um, just look at that, just wiping that off my finger, fix it up. So I'm dying to do some watercolor again, and I will be soon. Now that I've got my art room back, the family's gone, so my studio is back in play. And then, as well as those other pencils I bought secondhand from a friend, I bought these Neoni color pencils. It's a set of 120. It's a beautiful tin they come in. They say they're Japanese, and yet when you do a... One of those, I've got like a translation app on my phone. It also says made in China. So <laughs> I think they're probably Chinese. But they are gorgeous colors. They're very inexpensive. I bought these at Take-A-Lot. I think they're available on Amazon as well. Um, I'll have a look. What I particularly like are all these pastels. I mean, so pretty. Look at those colors. <laughs> I've heard these compared to Holbein's. I must actually do a comparison of my little pastel set of Holbein's and these. So I'm just going to scribble on my mixed media paper. Ah, and the smell, I love the smell of pencils. It really did my heart good. Amazing what one does to overcome a bit of heartache. There's nothing like art supplies for cheering one up, is there? Oh, they feel lovely and creamy. Actually feel really beautiful. So I'm going to color with that. And then I'm going to color with the Prismacolor. And those two together. This was not a Prismacolor, that was a Polychromos. Then I'm going to go over it with a Prismacolor white. Sort of push it down into the into the tooth of the paper and then I'm going to use this again on top of the white. It's a lot of layers I'm able to put down. And they're not crumbling a lot. And the polychromos on top again. Just using this polychromos because it's a color that kind of goes well with the color I randomly selected. And then blend that up again. Blends very nicely with polychromos, which is interesting. The waxiness of the Prismacolor white is sort of standing out there. So they really feel nice. I'm really, really excited to use them. Going to try this with the yellow going down. And I'm using a heavier pressure and let me use, actually let me use this green. This is kelp green Prismacolor. I 
I don't have a sharpener. Well, there is a sharpener here, but I'm not ready to start the colorless blender yet. Blends quite well into there. Seems like it mixes quite well with the Prismacolor as well. I'm never very holy about mixing pencils. I just tend to use what I use. These two colors don't go well together. There is a bit of crumbling there now. So that is all of my art supplies that I've bought in the first quarter now of 2022. I'm really excited by all of them. I have this Amazon basket full to overloaded and I can't afford to get any of the things in it. So I bought things here in South Africa from Take A Lot and I'm absolutely delighted with, well, both from Take A Lot and from Art Savings Club. So I'm totally delighted with everything I've got. I really am grateful that you've taken the trouble to watch the video and to join me. And I wanted to mention, somebody asked about my missing wedding ring. There's nothing wrong with my marriage. Neville and I are still very happily married. My fingers got plump and so I had to have it removed and I haven't had it enlarged yet. So <laughs> that's why the wedding ring is off. Um, thank you for caring and asking. I do appreciate everybody that gets in touch with me i love 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 comments on the videos and i thank you very much please remember in the community tab i will be putting up a poll about the choice of the two coloring pages to do a channel color along and let me know which one you would like me to do on the channel thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful colorful blessed day bye bye now